All right. What's up, guys? So this is totally for funsies. This is not a character strength tier list for Alpha 3 because that is pretty solid and has been for a very long time. This is my personal opinions of who I think are the coolest characters in the game uh, ranked. Basically, like designs, moves, just how much I like the characters, right? This is just an opinion piece, basically. So as you can see, we have a bunch of tiers. I couldn't decide how many to have. Um, you know, S, A, B, C, D, F, and then at the top we have the Sakura tier, which you obviously know who goes there. Blanca, of course. No. <laughs> yeah, so in my opinion, Sakura is the coolest character in this game. You can't dispute that with me. I love her. She's way too cool, right? It's partially because she's my main, but the other reason is, again, after playing her for so long, I just think she's the coolest character in the game. Okay, so from there, I guess we'll go in order of how they're listed here, right? So let's see, Adon. All right, so I play a little bit of Adon uh, in A and Xism. Uh, I think he's cool. He's not super cool, but he's all right. I used to think he was really annoying, but his combos and stuff are fun. Um, I think Adon is a good place. I think he's solidly in C. I don't think he's awful, but he's not like the this level of tiers. You know, I think we remove... Uh, well, no, we'll, we'll keep these tiers and see, just see how it turns out. But yeah, Adon's right there. Moving on, Akuma. Akuma has to be S, dude. Akuma's way too cool. Everyone loves Akuma. Holy crap. Dark Hado, Shingoku Setsu. Just everything about this character from his design to his story and the way he fights is just he's way too cool dude come on everybody likes kuma right uh balrog i actually really like balrog um i think he's cool as shit he's been cool as shit since street fighter 2 um my buddy jared plays him all the time i hate fighting against him but uh yeah i've, I've always thought balrog was pretty cool uh, i don't think he's s tier uh i think he's a good place to put in the b tier like right in the middle of everything, right? I think he's, I think he's pretty much average as far as coolness, right? Birdie, I do not like that much. Um, I want to put him in D tier, but at the same time, I mean, yeah, I'll put him in D tier. I don't like him that much. My buddy Jared plays him all the time too. I, I just am not a fan of Birdie. I don't like his, his uh, personality. I don't like the noises he makes. I hate his body splash uh, freaking move in the air. But yeah, I, I don't really like Birdie that much. Although this version of Birdie right here is way cooler than the one in Street Fighter V because he's not a f big fat dude for no reason. He, he was muscular and he beat the crap out of people, you know? That's pretty cool. Bison. Bison is definitely A. Well, not S. Don't get up there by Akuma. Bison is A for sure. I've always liked Bison. He's just your... your like a villain I've been fighting since I was a child. And he is cool. Like his his he's just so evil and villainous. Like he he nails the character, right? That that you want to beat the crap out of at the end of the game. I think he fits. Okay, so Cammy. Cammy is probably B2. Like right next to Balrog. I really like Cammy. I used to play her for a while, but um, you know, she this is this design right here. In my opinion, the Killer B design. Uh, I understand why she is that way in Alpha 3, but she's not, it's not as cool as like her Delta Red outfit. I really like the Delta Red outfit, but yeah, she's cool. She's right next to Balrog, I'd say. Charles. Okay. So, friggin' Charles, I would put probably an S next to Akuma. I think Charlie is super cool. The glasses and the too easy and the, you know, just, he's way cooler than Guile. Let's put it that way. By the way, this is the upper. If you didn't notice, this is Street Fighter Alpha 3 upper. So it's got characters like, you know, uh, Fei Long and Guile in it. But um, yeah, uh, Charlie, he's just way too cool. I, I might have to reorder these these actual, like the tiers themselves. But I think that Charlie is up here next to Akuma. I think they're just super cool. Chun-Li is Chun-Li. I think she's a B. She has to be right in the middle too. Because she's, I mean, we she's not... She's pretty straightforward as a, as a character in his design and everything. I don't think she she should go any higher or lower here. I think she's straight up a B, for sure. Um, I think I like her more than Cammy, though. 
Balrog's still above her, but... Okay, Cody. Cody is... Uh, man, it's a toss-up between S and A for me. Because I really like Cody. Actually, you know what? He's an S. He's really cool. I hate fighting against him. I hate V. Cody. But when you look at the story of Cody, like, the final fight, and the fact that if he takes his handcuffs off, he's, like, the strongest guy in the Street Fighter universe, um, it's just, he's just really cool, man. And he's, like, Guy's best friend, and Guy's awesome, so there you go. Okay, Dan. Dan's an F. I'm sorry, Jared. <laughs> I know he's your favorite character. I have always thought Dan is lame. I hate him. I hate the stupid taunts. I, I, I'm totally on the opposite side as you, but, like, I really like watching you play Dan. I like watching people play Dan and win with him because he's funny as shit. But as far as, like, the cool factor and how much I like him, yeah, he's he's the king of F tier here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, DJ. Um, DJ is annoying as shit in every game he's in, and I hate fighting against him. Uh, I think he's either down here with Birdie, or I think he's probably around here with Adon, because he is still cooler than Birdie, and I do dig him, so I think DJ is right there. Dalsum. Dalsum is way cool. I really like Dalsum. It's, it's either B or A for me. Um, I think I'd put him in B, and I think I'd actually put him above Cammy, but below Chun. I do really love Dalsum. I've always liked this character. I just can't play him. I think he's super neat. His, you know, his design, the stretchy limbs and everything, obviously, he's just really, really cool. And in Vism, he's got, like, Yoga Escape and all that stuff, and he, the Noogie throw has always been awesome. So, yeah, Dalsum's, Dalsum's in B, right between Chun and Cammy. Honda. Honda's in D. The only reason that he's not in F, actually, you know what, I'd probably put him in C. The only reason he's not in D or F is because I always remember Honda from the Street Fighter movie, and, uh, you know, he was really cool in the movie with uh, training with Ryu and stuff. I really liked him, and he fought Dawson in it, but, um, yeah, I'd probably put Honda above DJ, too. I like I like Honda to an extent, right? Okay, E Ryu. Um... This is a character that's exclusive to Upper. Um, I like playing him. I think he's cool. I mean, he's just Ryu that's basically like... I'd put him in A. I think he'd be here. He's not quite Akuma, but he is... Or he's not quite in the same tier as Akuma, but he is Ryu just evil, which is cool. Uh, his design is kind of boring, and the only real thing that changes is like... In Alpha 3 is like he in Aism he gets... Uh, what, he gets the uppercut super and a teleport? That's pretty much it, I think. If he'd have got an air fireball, it would have been badass. But yeah, A tier, as far as coolness goes. Uh, Fei Long. Fei Long is awesome, and I really, really like him. He's definitely A tier also. Um, just the, I mean, he's Bruce Lee. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, like a no effort character, but his cool, his records are too cool. His, the sounds he makes when he attacks are just really awesome and the flame kick and everything he's he's a badass dude let's be real again again i do not care for that much i think he should be in d2 i think the stance change stuff is really neat um but really when it comes down to it he's old you know judo master or crane style and uh mantis style master you know he's just a he's your typical like like Chinese master stereotype of some kind of uh, jujitsu or some shit. You know, he's he's kind of a, a boring idea. I, it is awesome that he survives Akuma's Shingoku Setsu, and he's got some good parts in like the comics and stuff where he's talking to Ryu, but that's that's about it. Guile, okay, Guile, uh, solidly B as well. I think he's definitely not as cool as Charlie, but I mean, he is Guile. He's a staple. Um, his flat top never loses its uh solidity so there's that but uh yeah guile's cool i dig guile guy guy is an s tier for me not sakura tier but s tier and i'm pretty sure he goes right here for me guy is way too cool his fighting style's too cool the fact that he's just like a, a an american ninja from the streets 
He's got, like, the gi, but then he wears, like, sneakers. <laughs> he's so cool, man. And he's who I always played in Final Fight, so. Yep, guy's my dude. For sure. He's, uh, you know, actually, I think he's cooler than Akuma. <laughs> That's just me. All right, Julie. I play Julie. After, out of the uh, two um, dolls, I play Julie. Uh, and I really do like her. I like playing as her. Um, she's not as, you know, diverse as Junie and Cammy are, but I like her big, like, jumping karate kick. It's freaking awesome. Uh, I think I would put her right here below Balrog, actually, above the rest of these characters, to be honest with you. I like playing her a lot, and I think she's cooler than all four of these characters and every character under her. So that's me. Junie, on the other hand, um, I would probably put in the same tier, but at the bottom. I think she, I think she's all right. I'm really upset that she got a bunch of like character development when Julie didn't. When like the only character development that Julie got turned out to be like false and not canon was that she was like T Hawk's daughter that Bison kidnapped and turned into a psycho slave. None of that's actually true, which is dumb. Because that would have been awesome for her to have a story. But yeah. And then Junie comes back in Street Fighter V and has all kinds of character development. Like after she's reintegrated herself into society and getting used to being a normal person after, you know, becoming a psycho doll and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, as far as coolness factor, I'd put her down here. Blanca. <sighs> Dang it, man. I don't know. Like... It's definitely in here somewhere, because I've never really liked Blanca that much, but he's such a staple that, you know, nostalgia goggles and all, I'd be like, ah, I kind of like Blanca. Um, I'd probably put him at the bottom of C. He's Blanca, you know? <laughs> yeah, everybody knows who Blanca is. Everybody knows what he's about. He's just kind of there for me. Karen, okay. Karen goes to the top, uh, or to the, uh, actually, she goes to the bottom of A, I think. She's really cool. I love playing her. She's awesome. I think she's cool. Uh, I don't think she's as cool as Fei Long, Ryu, Bison, and the characters above her, but I do prefer to play her a lot. Uh, like, I barely play Cody, Bison, Evil Ryu, Fei Long, and Akuma, but... You know, and I do play her, so you would think she would be, like, right here behind Guy, but... No, she, she's right here as far as cool factor. She is just, like, the Ken to Sakura's Ryu, to be honest with you. Speaking of Ken, Ken is uh, second in S tier. I think he's cooler than Akuma. Um, he's always been the cooler Shoto. I think he's super cool. He needs to be above Akuma. I love Akuma, but... Ken's attitude while he fights and just like the flair with which his normals and moves and stuff are or have it just yeah Ken's too cool man Mika I don't like Mika I'd put her in D I'm not a huge fan of her at all um Rolento same story I don't really like his design I don't like how he plays I think it's kind of you know just weird I, I don't know I don't know that could just be me though it probably is Rose, same, D tier. Not a huge fan of Rose either. I mean, she's just, I don't know. I don't know, I think, I think her pretentiousness in the movies and the story just makes me not like her probably. Ryu, good old Ryu, just regular ass Ryu. Um, coolness factor makes me wanna put him lower cause he's just Ryu. But at the same time, dude, he is kind of a badass. And I play him in all three isms, and they're all three very definitively different. And he's got some really cool stuff he can do. Um, I think he beats Julie for me. I think he's right about there. He's not as cool as his evil Ryu counterpart, obviously. But uh, Balrog is ru ruling the B tier, dude. He's cooler than all of these characters, in my opinion. Okay, Sagat. Sagat Sagat. I don't even play Sagat, but I would put him right here at the bottom of S tier. I think Sagat is super cool. Um, actually, no. Instead of S tier, I'd probably put him at the top of A over Bison. I think Sagat is one of the most badass Street Fighter characters ever made, and he deserves that top spot in A. Bison can take a seat. 
Okay. Uh, Sodom. Um, he's a weeb. <laughs> Another member of uh, of uh, Dark Gear. Is that what it's called? I I forget from Final Fight. Um, I think that I would put him right under Adon, though. I think he's cool. I think he's cooler than these characters, to be honest with you. Um, Rugburn's really funny. And he's... I like the fact that when you change his isms, he gets different weapons. That's really neat, too. T-Hawk goes in F tier. I can't stand T-Hawk, but if we're talking about his eagle that comes down, lands on his arm, that we have called we have named Joe Walsh from a very very long time ago if we were rating his eagle that would be up in S tier because his eagle is super cool but he's dumb he can go in F uh Vega Vega is probably for me man Vega's cooler than Guy I love Guy but Vega is probably one of the coolest characters in Street Fighter history, in my opinion. He's a freaking psycho murderer, dude. He's got a mask and a claw. He plays like no other character has ever played. He's just a badass dude. I love him. So, yeah. And he was, like, the first character I ever really got good with in Street Fighter Alpha 3. I think he's really cool. And Zangief. The Grappler. I hate grapplers. I hate playing grapplers, and I hate playing against grapplers, but I love Zangief, and I think he goes right there. I think that's a good spot for him. I think he's cooler than Iryu and Fei Long. Actually, I don't think he's cooler than Ken than Karen, though. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have to reorder here. So let's do that. And uh, I think Karen, yeah, let's go ahead and put Karen here, and then we'll do that. Yeah, okay, that's better. Um see down here yeah i definitely think birdie's cooler than gan and you can relento uh, rose i think rose is cooler than relento though i think rose is cooler than mika uh this top tier here i think cody's actually cooler than charlie that's a close one though they're both pretty dang cool um, yeah, this tier's a little wonky looking, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They look, this looks about right. This is what I would pick. Um, yeah, the rest of the tiers look about right, to be honest with you. So there you have it. Uh, that's my tier list of who I think is the, are the coolest characters in Street Fighter Alpha 3. Um, again, this wasn't like a, a tiers of how strong the characters are at all. This is just like my personal opinions of who I think is cool. And, uh, yeah, Sakura will always win, but, yeah, I really do think, like, Tops, Sakura, Vega, Guy, Ken, Akuma, Cody, Charlie. Yeah, that's, that's probably it. Like, when I see the, these characters, I'm like, this freaking game is badass, you know. But, uh, anyway, thanks you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, all that good stuff. And, uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.